shit tight. <laughs> I was like, I'm ready to fight. Know, nigga took, nigga took like three right weeks to tell me that shit. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Are we recording? Man. Yeah, on <laughs> cameras, yeah. All right, yeah. All right. Niggas been on for like nine minutes. <laughs> All right. All right. You ready? Bet. Yeah. You already know what it is, ladies and gents. It's your, Am I in focus? It's your, yeah, I think I think you might be in focus. Okay. We'll do it one more time. Three, two, one. You already know what it is, ladies and gents. It's your mother's favorite runner, Don Peasley. Uh, <laughs> with, <laughs> next to him is me, LaShawn. <laughs> Hold on, brother. Come on now. You know I'm not gonna say it. Um it's another beautiful day here in NYC, man. Um shout out to all y'all for um listening this 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 whatever time you're listening. Um Blessed to be here. Blessed to have you here. And we got the fellas in the building. Hey, Joe. Hey, LA. And what's your name over there, sir? Uh, <laughs> new face, new face, new face. The illustrious. <laughs> Preach God. Glad to be in this illustrious set with my beautiful brothers. This Appreciate the golden you. one is Mr. here. Mr. Conker himself. <laughs> like how men used to be. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're, oh, you're a traditional man then, brother. Chris, I hear Chris, Chris Columbus over there. Oh. You're a traditional man. I hear that, bro. <laughs> Ah, yes. Good to be here. Love you guys. Yeah, we love you Finally, too. Finally, right? Yeah, it's about yeah, it's been a while. Finally. When was the last time I preached on an episode? When we was in um in, in Brooklyn? Red, Red Autumn? Probably Red Autumn. Yeah. Red Autumn. Damn. Yeah. Bye. But preachers preacher was uh also one of the guys who uh spearheaded the the return of what's a good guy. He even promised to show up on episodes, so <laughs> Man, it took a nigga almost a year to get here. <laughs> almost a year. Yeah, hang on. What do you think about shit? Almost it's a year. Yeah, yeah, nigga. He's, God damn. These babies, man, having kids. Man. Hey, my. <laughs> <laughs> you Get know what? Shout out to you. Stuff. You got a beautiful child, man. You got beautiful yeah, children, shout, man. Yeah, yeah, shout out to yeah, both of yeah, y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to your last one. I got more photos with him than your first one. It's the first one. Shout out to Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, yeah, Caleb. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Last time I seen Caleb was at, at, at church. Some... church. Is that church? Or I seen yeah. him up there. I just want to see Caleb at um. He was just he was here. I cause the last time I really remember seeing him is when you had some you had like a barbecue at your crib or something. Oh yeah, when we moved and that was everybody over. Yeah. Damn. Nah, he was, 10, he was ten years old then. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's not the last time you saw him. Nah, he was, was at church. He was yeah, there. I, I remember seeing. Church. I remember seeing him. Yeah. But I was like, that's the last time I like my brain put into oh, like. That was a good one. We had everybody. We were sitting on my. Yeah, we that was, was a good spot you had. We was outside for a minute. Shanae yeah. was there. It was a good vibe. Yeah. You stopped there for a minute. What's going on today, Mister Mister LA? Uh, yo, we're gonna start it off where we left off, Joe. When you was talking about uh energy suckers and energy givers, <laughs> oh say, my day, sucker, bro. What you said? I'm sorry. Takers and givers. Take same same shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. Yeah, yeah. So uh, continue, continue with that point before we get into this uh episode that um, I got written down. Okay, well, uh, so I'll just get to the root of where I learned it. Uh, when I was playing college basketball, my my college assistant coach, yeah, uh, yeah, Coach yeah. Tony, he used to say, when you're on this team or in this gym or when you come into the weight room, whatever the case may be, it's all about your energy. And there's two types of players in this world. And there's the players who come into the gym, come into the weight room, come into the classroom, who are giving positive energy and pouring energy into this room that will elevate everybody. And then there's people who come into the gym, who come to take energy out of the room and have negative energy that pull everything away. Mm-hmm. And those are, and those are, you have to have discernment with who you let into your spaces in that way. And, I, and because he said it in the basketball sense, obviously I took it as a basketball player, but then I started to apply it in all my, um, you know, phases of life. And I mm-hmm. can see that it's helped me to pick and choose who I let into the room. Uh, what about for yourself? What you mean? Uh, how did what? How did it help you determine who you wanted to be outside of who you wanted to let in? Oh no, yeah. So yeah, mm. I like it, it's funny because immediately once he said that, I picked the side. I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm always gonna be the person who's coming in here giving positive energy, even if I was doing that shit before. Yeah, like him saying that and making that analogy to us, mm-hmm. I took it so personal. Like, yeah, I'm always gonna be the person who's coming in here to give mm-hmm. energy. If I, you know, even if I, if I can't give any energy, I'm not taking anything from it. At least I'm going to be a sponge. Like, I was always going to say I'm not going to be that person that he was saying to not be. Yeah. That's how that's how I was operating. So the reason why that inspired uh, me picking to do this episode, because I had already written it down, there was a... Uh, I would never say I'm an energy taker. Mm. We're about to go with this. Right? But I understand how my mood could alter... The environment. The whole room? Yeah. Okay. And so, mm. the way I come into work, 
I've I've said it before. I'm really no nonsense. I'm here for the bag, and <laughs> that's it. Like I'm, I don't really want to kick it with y'all. I don't want skate with your nothing. I don't want to do nothing like that. And I don't know what happened, but it was just one day I woke up, and I and I made a conscious effort. Yo, I'm gonna be mad nice today. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna say hi, good morning, was good, and. I'm gonna see how it goes. So I went to work. Uh, I woke up on time. I had breakfast. Mm -hmm. I was able to, and it was an early report. It was a 6 a.m. report. Damn. Yeah, and I God, usually man. don't do that. This is flying. This is yeah. flying. So I get on, you know, I, I walked out to Jet Bridge. I, you know, I'm like, good morning, good morning. How you doing? And um, no energy? Nah, nah. That, that's funny because the first time I did it, it, it it went really well, mm -hmm. you know, because they because we we introduce ourselves right there and then because nine times out of ten, uh, yeah, I know each other. We all know each other. Um, nine times out of ten, we don't know each other, and you know, so it'd be like you know, how I'm preach, how I'm Dodd, how I'm Cold Joe, how I'm Lash and I'd be like, yo, what's good? My name is Lashawn, and then and I just walk to the back because I know my spot. I we usually bid for uh for locations on the plane. Based on seniority, I only work flights where I'm the most senior. Mm -hmm. So we never have to ask where I'm going. I'm going to the back. <laughs> so, but nah, you know, I sat, stayed for briefing, do my thing, you know, talk, you know, they like anybody got special talents, made a little funny joke, you know. What? Like was being charming. <laughs> don't, get, don't get an HR. Don't get an HR case, <laughs> nah, brother. Nah, see, I, I won't go that far. <laughs> you got any special talents? Why are you asking the questions, like? <laughs> I'll be careful with that. But mm -hmm. um, but nah, you know, so so for me, it was like, I don't know what happened. I don't mm -hmm. know what happened the night before, mm -hmm. but I just made a conscious effort on, you know, let me just change the the mood and spirit that I that I bring to work mm -hmm. and, and see what happened. Now the next next flight, mm -hmm. the next crew that I worked with, I did that. And niggas wasn't really receptive to it. So I was like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, see, that's why I don't fuck with y'all niggas to be with. But it worked the first time, though. You're right. So you can't base your energy off of how other people respond. Yeah, but how see, you receive it. Yeah, but receive see, it. I, I don't know. For, for me, as far as like my job goes, mm -hmm. I just want to get back home. But you ain't got to see the motherfuckers again. You could be... Yeah, but see, that's... But you know what the... Uh, what the also, one of the things that I uh, factored in... If shit hits the fan, we all we got, or we mm. gotta work together mm. to make mm. this a uh, uh, to make sure we we land safely or do whatever. So if I come off, I guess to myself, mm. they may feel like, oh, I can't depend on this nigga. Mm -hmm. When nine times out of ten, I'm probably the one y'all should depend on because mm. I'm the one who keeps like the stoic energy. Mm -hmm. I don't really clam up. We've had two uh, two emergencies recently. And while everybody frantic, I'm like, yo, it's only one way out of here. Mm -hmm. And it, nigga, we either going down or make it. Let's mm -hmm. just chill the fuck out. And mm -hmm. Nothing's going to change. You know what I'm saying? We either dead or we alive. Like, like that's what's <laughs> nah, in front like, of us. <laughs> don't tell me. That's a lot of... Uh... Yeah, but see, for me, courage, I, nigga, bro, yeah, it's that like takes a, a lot of courage. The niggas bro. start shaking up. It's yeah, like, right. yeah, because they just like, yo, you like, imagine you having a panic attack. You're mm -hmm. a customer. Mm -hmm. And the flight attendant that's supposed to be helping. Oh my god! You, now you having a panic attack? Like, now everybody's move, <laughs> move from this yeah. nigga, please. <laughs> we try to save him. Now we gotta take care of you, man. Yeah, yeah, you you are no help right now. <laughs> and you're the senior person. Yeah. on the flight. Yeah. So you have to be that. Yeah. So 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 yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just make a conscious effort onto. So which led me to ask. What uh have any of y'all made a conscious effort recently in y'all lives to change, I guess, whatever mood, direction, or phase y'all are in? Preach, you haven't been here for a while, yeah, so you go first. Uh actually, yes. Uh it's not an I interview. Mean, it's not an interview, you're fine. I know, I know. Actually, <laughs> yes. But I mean, being who I was before my dad died mm. and who I was after my dad died these past two years yeah. definitely changed my outlook on energy, time, mm -hmm. and all of those things. So when he first died, I, of course, you recluse. You 
you you grieve mm. and some of the social person that I was before mm. I what I'm not yeah mm. because you know my soul is just different my mm. outlook is different but now with my son and seeing him grown growing mm -hmm. and that energy that he brings is like yeah this is you know it's okay to share again it's okay uh, to mm -hmm. be who you were as a, that fun person again. There's, mm. there's no need to always be grieving and have a, uh, what's it called? A negative, pessimistic outlook uh -huh. on everything. Remember that. That's <laughs> the pessimistic next outlook. That's the next pessimistic. The next pessimistic. Outlook, whatever it is. I'm on the center. Yeah. So, yeah. Damn, that's crazy now that I think about it, right? Well, not, I've thought about it because obviously I've been, I've been in your life for all this time, but. Your your dad did pass, and then you had a child, so it's kind of like you lose. Did like, you do that on purpose? He didn't have to do it on purpose. Um, to be honest, not because most because I know because no, no, no. I actually I actually ask, ask, ask you about this, that. This, you know the single of life where like you lose when, when somebody, death, death and most life. people, yeah, yeah, like so. Did the loss of uh, your dad make you want to have another child? I can give you a crazy story. Oh, my shit. dad, my dad died in August. Yeah, in June, me and her was at my crib. He said, "You deserve to have a big family." We didn't know then that mm. she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then he dies in August. So uh -huh. now I have the choice of, I have the choice right yeah. now of do we yeah. go through with this yeah. or do we yeah. kill us? And it's wow. like, yo, I know I'm going to need something to get over my dad dying. Mm. So let's, all right, go ahead. And I know how much you want to be a mom. I've already done this. Yeah. I know how much you want to be a mom. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm, and we did it. But it was just crazy. He said, I want you to have a big family. And then He's that going happens. two months later. Yeah. Now we find out she's pregnant. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, it wasn't boy. on purpose, but it was it definitely was the power of the tongue, and God ain't no joke. Power right? the power the tongue. He knew my dad. <laughs> yeah. God, your tongue ain't bring Satan. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Sick niggas, bro. That wasn't the tongue. <laughs> Yo. Yo. That was on me, baby. That was on me. That was on me. <laughs> Sick, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh man. Oh, what about you, dog? Well, uh, the conscious effort that you, you, you've been making to do X, Y, and Z. Um... The thought of nobody's gonna save me but me. Ugh. So it's me. Um, I feel like every man. You know what? That's that lost episode that we never put out. The switch. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. So it's like. Yup. Just remembering that. So that's why I woke up this morning. I was like, Yo, I'm doing ten miles. That's why people. Like, when you started okay. running, I was like, Bro, I don't. I don't run with headphones no more. Mm. It's all about quiet and noise and just listening to my surroundings and just figuring shit out. So that that's what like like you said that switch that hit. Mm. So, I'm, uh, can you repeat, repeat? So energy and personal. So, yeah. so been very personal. The, uh, the I'm, listening, I'm doing too much listening right now. The conscious <laughs> effort of whatever, whatever, bringing your energy back into yeah, the, into whatever it is. So, say there was a drought of I got I got one that I got. Uh, of of success or whatever, and you get discouraged, and it's like you wake up one morning and be like, "Nah, fuck this. I'm I'm getting back up on a horse, whatever that horse may be." So, so for me, it was like something that helps you bounce back. I was I was I was like a uh, I was I don't know. I would just come to work just in a workspace mm -hmm. mind, but it's like you know, a part of being. Uh, I guess a flight attendant is, you know, the personality of yeah, it because I had sure. to use my personality to get the job. Mm -hmm. But then once I felt like I got it, I just was so stoic on, yo, safety, it's customer service. The whole personality thing is is not really my forte. Or, mm -hmm. you know, y'all know me, you know, I'm more of an introvert, which I kind of like because when they did the orientation of once we got the job, they kind of said, yo, don't think just because... You're a flight attendant. You no longer have to be an introvert. If you're an introvert, be an introvert. Mm -hmm. We want all types of people. Right. So that was cool to hear because it was like, yo, I don't, I don't do well faking it. My face talks <laughs> way before my mouth do. Um, 
Can't chuckle in peace. But, but my face yeah. talks before my mouth do, but I, I know the fact that I'm an introvert, but I made a conscious effort at least don't be so introverted to the fact where a four man crew now feels like a three man. Mm. So mm. that's what I'm saying. Have you ever made a conscious effort to to do something, to change something, to want to be more, to I don't know, whatever. Kojo Wallet. I could give Kojo go, an example right, of right, his right, own. Right, 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 right. Tell me. Well, I mean, of course, I talked to Kojo. So I've seen him when he's been like, man, I don't know what the fuck to do. And then, yo, I got Red Bull. Bleep that if anything. No, no, you don't <laughs> have to. <laughs> no. At this point, I got Red Bull. Yeah. Uh, now I got this. Well, so, Down. Now, so now I got this. Pre-show, boom. I was, that's a, so I, it's funny you said that because that's what I was thinking about because top of the year, I thought I had Ebony Magazine in my hands. Yeah. I thought I was about to be the creative director of Ebony we all Magazine. Did. Yeah, yeah, we all did. And then it didn't happen, and I went into this drought. And it felt oh, like it lasted okay. for such a long yeah, time. Yeah, that goes off of, uh, we yeah. recorded an episode called Hopes Up, right? Yeah. So your hopes, you know you got disappointed yeah. with that conscious effort of, I'm not going to live in this disappointment yeah. anymore. Let me... But what caused that was... Something that was normal to me. So Dykeman basketball, being in that space and showing my talent and getting that work out there, which to me wasn't like anything extravagant because that's my job and that's what I do. That caused me to then get the biggest solo contract that I have ever received as yeah. an art director. So yeah, that's a fact. Like it's just sometimes for me, it's just staying the course and just trusting my talent, trusting my work, trusting the things that I've put all this time in, all these YouTube hours, all of that studying that I've been doing of myself, it ultimately pays off. So just not losing faith either, right? Yeah. Like, it's just like, that, that ebony shit, it, it, has, it still bothers me, but I have not let it consume me, mm. right? It was consuming me. So you made a conscious effort not to let it consume yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. Once I realized that I, once that's, realized that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like as creatives, though, our energies always shift because of the business landscape, mm -hmm. and this is what we make our money from. Yeah. So it's like when, when as a creative, when things is going good, everything is good because it's feeling like, yo, I figured this entrepreneur <laughs> shit right. Out. Yeah. And then it just goes. Dry for six months, and you're like, "What the fuck am I been doing this whole <laughs> yeah, time? Like, yeah, yeah. I need to figure something else out." Plus, yeah. the market is shit. So. The market, yeah. So that 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 goes to a a good point where I don't want to depress us out, but like the conscious effort of not letting life consume us, and where shit don't look like it's gonna go good anytime soon, where you penny pitching, where you know, it's Facts. dark and I w when you say life, I would change that to like business life because life is. No, I'm talking about life. Friends, no, I'm talking about life. My life period, like yeah, I'm talking about yeah. life, okay. not, yeah, not yeah. in a creative space, like life, like financial, financial shit. Mm -hmm. We met, so we, we, it's easy for us. Financial, mm -hmm. you know, where where you don't have the the amount of money that you want to have or the money you do have, money's not coming in. So you see your money drop. Like yeah. it, there was a point in time where I would like to say I had a great savings, right? Mm. And then I, I put myself in a pickle. Well, I, I didn't put myself in a pickle. I got, placed in, in pickle. I got placed in a pickle mm. and that savings that I thought was so great was starting mm. like, I'm to, now being scared. Like, mm. damn, like, to deplenish. what the fuck is due to every day? Apple is taking money out of my account for <laughs> a reason. <laughs> Apple my, news. Out my lunch. Apple Apple news. <laughs> they want your $9.99 for Apple news. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, or you just, you just deal with that adversity of like, damn, mm. son. And then you just don't let life consume you. Like, you know, Swanny, I literally compare, like, I literally started running for a reason. Like, I compare everything to running now. Like, when life is, if I'm going through shit in life, it's like, yo, I gotta put one foot in front of the other, same way I do it running. Mm. One foot in front of the other. If I don't do that, I'm staying in one spot, bro. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna figure some shit out. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, the conscious effort, I I had some notes, but we, we kind of was flowing, so I didn't really want to. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Damn. The power of being intentional. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. We could discuss the impact of setting intentions. And having positive, a positive mindset for every day. So even if, you know, yesterday's mm. yesterday's pain could sometimes come into today. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. like having the the, at least starting the day with a mindset of, 
yo, the bullshit is already here. Let me try to make the best of the bullshit. Even if the day doesn't go the way we want it to go, at least starting off the day with some sort of positivity, positivity like, yo, I hope today's better. I hope a blessing comes out of nowhere. I hope something comes, you know that? Like, I, uh, yeah. I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I, I feel like I should do more of that. Uh-huh. I mean, like, I leave it up. I wake up, I pray, and then I just go we, on about we my get day. To it, bro. We just go but get to it, bro. But it's like, I see y'all get up, y'all go to the... I'm sure y'all pray, and then y'all get up, y'all go to the gym and do other things. So, deposit, setting good intentions for yourself is something that I want to work on, especially in this new year. I feel like it's easier said than done. Sometimes our minds will put us in that negative space or life will put us in that negative space. It's like, nah, bro. Like we get that dark cloud over our heads and we just keep moving with it. Mm. Like we put, they, that's even when walking the hair like earlier, I wasn't upset. It was like, bro, I'm drained. I could tell in your face. I'm, I ain't gonna front that 10 miles. What my fucking oh. ass. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I don't sleep because the thought of the future kind of keeps me up some nights. Of course. Mm. Like the worry, but I know I'm, I, in my head, I set the intentions like, yo, bro, I'm going to be great. I'm not gonna be fine. I'm gonna be great. I just have to keep pushing forward. Yeah. Figuring it out is just keep going. You just gotta keep going till that till that plan comes in your that that secure plan comes in your mind. Do you I'm do saying? you feel like the pressures of being what we deem as success could be clouding like, Hell yeah. our viewpoint of what success life success really is? Yeah, it, it Waking up every day is success. Like is bro. the Bentley the is a Bentley like, the success or is I don't it? I don't I don't see I don't, I used to see it as that though. I used to see it as that oh getting a nice car, getting a, nah bro being the only oh go ahead, no, 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 sorry. No, I was saying on. like even nigga if I don't give a fuck if I got a Honda Accord, I got a V. A I got a I got an apartment. I'm saying Reliable. I don't give a fuck how big it is, I got a space. Right. Yeah. What you said? I, I said I don't give a fuck what happened? What I said? What'd you <laughs> what you call it? Honda Accord, no. apartment. So oh, I got a apartment. apartment. Oh, okay, okay, saying? okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought he said apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to get there though. Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> fat ass is success. <laughs> fat ass is success. That's success. Give things, give things, give things, give things. But yeah, you got somebody to love Yo, on you. Somebody to love shit. on you. My nigga, that's success, bro. My mind is crazy. That is success, bro. I got, I got, I got, clo- I got clothes in my bag. I got food in my fridge. Uh-huh. My nigga, I'm working out. I'm working on my mental. My nigga, that's success. I'm successful, bro. Facts. I may not be there, but I'm here and I'm happy I think to that be the, here. The, the only thing that I apply that to is this. What? what you mean? Uh, the, the, the viewing of success. Uh-huh. Mm. I think the only thing in life that I apply that to is what's a good guy. Was a good guy. Where how far you wanted to versus go. where we are, mm-hmm. and then be like, damn, because the success level, like we look, we look, we're always looking at the market and, a, and, and, and the the <laughs> where, and when you look at the market, sometimes you only look at the top, mm-hmm. like you don't even you scale see, it down. You don't you don't see who's on you. Yeah, yeah. Well, who's <laughs> under you, nigga? Some niggas <laughs> ass. <laughs> Right. Number one, I, I, number one. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're cut off. You're cut off. Dirt. But they again, they're trying to figure it out how to get to get this. Better. Terrible. Get, ass I mean, pies. there's six cameras here. <laughs> Somebody only got two. They looking at you like this nigga got six cameras with a nice set, and you looking at yeah. whoever you looking at. Yeah. They got the full sound stage. Like Bri- like Brian Scalabrini said. I'm closer to LeBron than you are to me, nigga. Yeah. And if we can be a real, that's what niggas call that's that's you shit talking right there. That's why niggas call you arrogant. My I'm nigga. just saying, <laughs> you closer to whoever at the top than them bum ass niggas, bro. I just want to let you Yo, know that, bro. bro. What is going on, bro? <laughs> just I don't think I don't think y'all hear that enough, bro. I that shit pissed me off when I go to sleep and wake up. He sent me a text the other day, and he said he ain't want to read it. He just be blowing mom, bro. <laughs> Cause I be wanting to snap, but gotta gotta conserve my energy sometimes. But I'm gonna get on this mic and tell you what this podcast and show has done from when it started to this very recording, bro, is masterful, bro. Fuck who's been on here, fuck who, fuck the screens, fuck the the views, bro. Just the fact that we we've, we've been able to consistently do it even after a break, bro. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Sorry. But yeah, so so that that that, that <laughs> I received uh, that. When we talk about uh success outside of that, life for me, like, you know, as long as I wake up to see another day, there's something for me to do. 
Man, what God, is, God ain't done with me yet, bro. What Am is right, a success? God, taking everything from business, I don't already know where you're going. With, but what does a successful life look like to y'all? And it doesn't have to include like marriage, kids. It, it can, but I know other people have I think different for me, for viewpoints. Me, a, a successful life for me looks like, as crazy as it sounds, the lowest amount of debt that I need. Yo, that's good. I like that. I'm not going to lie to you, brother. I'm with you on that one. Like, <laughs> like, I'm talking about, like, if the only thing that's reoccurring charges are Credit Con Ed, card. not even that, Con Ed, uh, National Grid. phone bill, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and rent, and everything yeah. else is in my pocket. Yeah. You know, I saw, I saw, that's I saw. It's impossible, so, though. No, nah, no, nah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Don't talk, don't talk about that, man. And let me, let me tell you why you it's not. You know what? That's, that's crazy. Uh, the reason ahead. why it's not impossible is because, one, there's somebody out there that has that has mm-hmm. it. So it's been done, right? And two, I actually saw something on the timeline that mm-hmm. made me, that really made me think, right? It was like being broke at 30 started at 20. Mm-hmm. On mm-hmm. How, what we did with our money or what we thought. Not for me, but all right. But I can see some of that. Did but they how, how we managed our money, what we thought, what getting uh, what, Macy's and credit cards, yeah. super young, messing up your credit, I young call, affects call, how you do it now. I bounce back from that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I did, I was, so, so like, if we had like the proper financial education right. or discipline, yeah. imagine never having to bounce back from that, and you went the whole twenty without. Or twenty, with no your twenties with no debt, and now you're in thirty. Going, you're going into your thirties with the with the best amount of financial discipline and education. You know, it's there's, education. Yeah, yeah. there's certain things that there's you necessarily don't have to bounce back from. So, mm-hmm. like with uh, being intentional now, when you know, right? Now. So make it. Oh, so boom, make it a conscious effort mm-hmm. on what I spend my money on. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a point in time when I was living at home and I didn't really have to worry about rent or none of that. And I had an extra two thousand dollars in my po- like pocket. I might go to Mary, or I might Shoot. now. Eight hundred dollar jeans, huh? Ooh. Yeah, but I'm not gonna talk down on a woman with a hundred dollar bag, bro. Stop the foolishness, bro. Stop. <laughs> that was your bag, <laughs> bro. Stop that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like I made a conscious effort on how I'm gonna be more financially responsible. I made a conscious effort on. Where I'm gonna devote my time to, or how I'm gonna devote my time. Mm-hmm. I made a conscious effort on. Fuck it, even being a better man, or what mm-hmm. the what that looks like. What does when you look in the mirror and you self evaluate yourself as a man, and you be like, "I right, this is where I want to be, and this is where I am. How I'm gonna get there? Mm-hmm. What do I need to eliminate? Mm-hmm. What do I need to stop partaking in? What do, where do I need to stop going? What do I need to stop consuming? Damn, why you? Why everything you just said was about stopping and ending stuff? Because it's not that you have to, that's so. Yeah, that's I what it said, is, though. I, this birthday, mm-hmm. I just said I'm going to say no more and be more intentional about what I want to do and who I want to do it with. Yeah. Think about how many times we went out. We should, like, bro, I ain't gonna front. I need to say this dollar, bro. We went out anyways. Oh, Rain's birthday. <laughs> Kill me. Then Coach hit me, yo, bro. Then Coach hit me, yo, dog. He had to send me the bread for the bar. I said, fuck. I, 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 I never asked nobody for nothing, bro. We didn't need to do that. I was like, yo, bro. And I literally texted you. I said, nigga, we did not have to do that. We did not need to do that. I texted you a preacher. I said, nigga, we didn't have to do that, bro. We did not need to do that. I texted a preacher. I said, bro, why do we do that? I love that nigga. I love him. I love Rain to death. I was like, bro. He ain't never put money in my pocket. You little bitch. We didn't need to do that that night. So, so what I mean by like, so for example, right? I was just gonna bring Skrills up. Like everybody know what I do Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. And Skr- Skrills would be like, "Yo, I got a party tonight," and I'd really be like, "Yo, I want to show up for my man's, but I know this is not responsible for me to go to." Be mm-hmm. hurting at church and just be hurting. You know what I'm saying? And working. And working. And like working. I, I just you gotta be there by now. I gotta make a conscious effort on. It's okay to miss out on this. Mm-hmm. My future self is going to thank me mm-hmm. for the conscious effort that I made at this very moment. Yeah. So, so the shit that I want now, 
I have there are certain things I'm going to have to miss out on. Mm-hmm. And there was a point in time where I felt like, damn, I can't miss out on anything. I gotta pop out. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? And this is for a person who's gonna pop out and just find a corner. I know myself. So <laughs> what's the point of saying that? You ain't gonna wanna do that, they know it. Exactly. So what was what was the point of really going? Just to show face? Just so I wanna see LA in a club. Social currency. Up. We put I, a LA lot into like social currency and not a lot into like life currency. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. So that's what I Damn. that's what I mean. We go that's to what I mean. Like, no, let's go, let's go. I'd rather, go. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather literally we go hang out at, at LA crib, probably get a little okay. bottle of wine, a now, little food. This this might be a bit of a tangent, but I do think that mentality mm-hmm. or those tendencies affect the success that y'all ultimately want for this podcast. Yeah, because I've always said that. Face? Yeah, but, but see, it's no way home. Shaking on. hands and kissing babies. Yeah, right, it's never a part but it. It, it's, it's where we go that changes the rules. It could be so where. It, it could be that I'm making a conscious effort. If I'm going to go outside, the the room has to make sense. Has to make sense. It, it can't just be <laughs> burgers and bottles every summer. But it, we don't, it just but can't we don't be. Do bur- we them. don't do burgers and bottles for the betterment of what's a good guy. We do that for the betterment of us and our nah, friendship. And, 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 and the betterment of the house. Oh, wait. Right, I can't, was, that, that, was that a move? Were you sleeping that one? Last summer, that was that was for the betterment of what's a good guy. I had to let these niggas know we ain't broke. Okay, fair, 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 fair. Nah, nigga, I never said Wait, last pass summer? Bottles, like nigga. the one that just passed or the one prior? Nah, the one that just passed. Niggas had brand wars. In the summer, in the summertime. Brand wars at burgers yeah, and going, bottles. That's crazy. No, nah, but, niggas went crazy, though. But I just, you know, you know how I feel. I say it all the time. Well, here's like, the thing. I, like I said, my, my conscious efforts of going outside, right, is now a little bit more direct. It, it has a purpose. So if I'm going outside, yo, let's see who hand I could shake. For the betterment of the park. I thought he was coming to the park. That's crazy. I thought he was coming. I was not, I actually came. To, I went. I went, came to the park on <laughs> nights when nothing came was on calm, going. Calm, calm yeah, nights too. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. But 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 there was a point in time. Y'all know me. I would see somebody and they'd be like, "Yo, LA. Yo, that's so so. Go mm-hmm. go say something. Nah, yeah. I ain't dick riding. But you did it. But this summer. Oh, that's that nigga over there? Fuck it. I'm, none of y'all coming with me? I'm going to walk over there myself. Yeah, nah. I, I, you know I was like, yo, you need me to... Oh, nah, I did it already. Yeah. So I made... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I made a conscious effort. Mm-hmm. The biggest thing that I made a conscious effort on is getting the fuck out of my own way. Mm-hmm. Because... You could do better. I wanted you to know that. Mm. But I've done better. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. My my future self is going to thank my present self. Absolutely. Because I am getting better in that direction. Okay. So There we go. So for me, it's mm-hmm. like I... Stop getting in your own way. Why are you introverted? <laughs> are you just are you being are you an asshole right now? Are you dead ass? Your, 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 your anxiety is fucking kicking your ass and you need to find a safe quarter. Alright, I feel like you're being an asshole. Loosen up, Michelle. <laughs> Loosen the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even- go talk to the other introvert girl over there. Go bond over the intro, uh, introverts. This nigga's wild. That or you well, true. That could that could be a thing. Or she could be on the panel. So Okay, this is enough. Uh, this is enough. He's had enough. Yo, shout out to my man, bro. Yeah, shout out to your bass. Uh, but yeah, so that's one of the uh, the conscious efforts that I feel like uh, I'm, I'm doing. Um, but to reference the episode that that never came out on the Switch, we kind of talked about one of the things that make us make this self conscious effort to change is adversity. Mm-hmm. You're back mm. against the wall. It's like, all right, nah, I gotta, I gotta tighten the fuck up. <laughs> Responsibility produces productivity. My favorite, my, my, yeah, my, my favorite point. saying is, "Rock bottom is a trampoline." Where you got that from? I saw it on the internet. So okay. <laughs> fucking ass. My thing, all right. So, preach. When you first found out with Kayla, when you first found out you had a kid, what went through your mind? When I first had Kayla, you, when you heard you were having a kid, what went through your mind? Um. Well, at twenty. I was more concerned about the hoes, so I was like, "Man, no girl is gonna mm-hmm. deal with me." I already, I already knew I was about to finish college, so I didn't have. I wasn't scared about like finding jobs. I was just more scared about the look. I'm, I'm on, a, I'm in a good gospel group. That we're traveling, we're on TV. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, this is really gonna mess a lot up. Mm-hmm. But me having him shifted my hustle into another dimension that I did not have then. Mm-hmm. So like I in college I was having good grades, but having him made me see 
oh, nah, I, I want to be on the dean's list now. Yeah. So, and then I did that the rest of college. And yeah. then it's just, your, 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 your kid, I mean, I, responsibility produces productivity. Yeah. And it just sent me, like, I it need should to. It should produce that. Yeah. LA so, talks about that to me all the time. With yeah. People like, yo, like, how could you have this responsibility and the switch not go off and you turn up to the max? Like, yeah. 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 Always. Yeah. And, yeah. And then this one, even, is like, I even got to take it up a notch now. Now I got to be even more uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I got to get up at 3 a.m. to do some shit I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. But you got to do I'm I'm doing the Lauren joint the whole summer. That money didn't even last me a month. Mm. It was like Damn. shit. Shit. Shout mm. out to Lauren Hill. So what's what's your mental when you go through all of this all of this stuff? I don't even think I I sit down and think about it. I just have to do so you're, so you're on autopilot, just move it. I I have to do. I did I don't have Respectful. especially as men, we don't have the luxury of not being there. For other people, I feel you like, are responsible. I feel like we're, 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 we're even for men without kids. We're I feel like we're allowed to just a little bit to do that. You Not have facts, a kid. Absolutely. I feel like you have facts. no room. There, no room. There is no room for yo. I don't know. I always have to be figure it out. Going and figuring it out. And when she comes to me, like, thank you for always staying ambitious and doing what you need to do. Is who's like, saying thank you? <laughs> When she comes to me and says, thank you for staying ambitious. Thank you for staying about your paper and putting one foot in front of the other. That makes me feel good. So wait, 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 wait. Oh, We're not going to do this. You're, you're telling me that you get poured into? Oh, oh the group chat is about to change. Yeah, about to, well, I like that shit. Oh, yeah. uh, we ain't gonna talk about it on here, but the group chat is definitely about to change. Next time you start that box. Yeah, yeah, we gonna buy him out. Yeah, we gonna play this clip every time. A lot of the times, I love to play devil's advocate. The devil don't need no advocate. And you know that for the sake of conversation, but I'm not dumb. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I know. Yeah, uh, you're not gonna leave 80 Please, 20 bro. to go get the 20. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you know that. We yeah. definitely clipping this up. This is not even going yeah, out. It's yeah, promo. This is, this this is, is your standard in the chat. Anytime Preach say something stupid, you're here. Yeah. 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 Remember this? It's <laughs> reverse. Hold on. Who don't want to talk about nigga? Um, um, yeah, but nah, that's 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 dope. That's dope. That's dope. dope. Um, even be poured into is that's fine. Yeah, that it's funny you say that. Preach, preach made uh the two uh talking points that's actually in the next episode so that's dope i like when that happens but um yeah sometimes i feel like a lot of the things we could avoid is if we make the conscious effort prior to the adversity happening so certain things we can fully take the blame of mm-hmm. where, where our back is against the wall because one we either procrastinated or two we have that mentality oh that can't happen to me or three the sun is shining so much that you don't think rain is in the forecast. Mm. And Don, you know, you could be in Florida and the sun shining and then you blink twice mm-hmm. and it's raining and then your whole day fucked, you know? So another thing, another thing is too, people people love to just crash out too. How y'all feel about crashing out? For the right thing, do I it. I'm not gonna lie. Do it. You I don't like the way that. they took crashing out, that that phrase crashing out. Yeah, because I feel like it, it, it goes... I'll crash out for love. I'll, I'll crash out for my people. You know what's crazy? That's f- As I'll much as a, lo- love. a lover boy you call me, mm-hmm. I, I don't think I can crash out for love. You can. I don't think I could. Okay. I, I, there are times... You can and you will. You just haven't yet. There, you will. There are times where... Um, maybe I thought about it, but I, I always think about the end result of it. And that always keeps me grounded. Like, you know, my, I think there is a good sense of pride that every man should have. I think there's a good sense of ego that keeps you safe. Um, and that, that, uh, that uh, prevents me from, from crashing out. You remember our LA conversation? Mm-hmm. You know how bad I wanted to crash out? I just did. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. no. Not right now. Yeah, not right now. But not nah, just now. to give you a talking yeah, yeah, yeah. point, like you yeah. know how passionately yes, I felt. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. it was like, 
damn, son. Like, nah. I what, but that, what is that, crashing out going to do? That would have been a good crash out because it would have opened the barriers for a deeper connection between you, you and that person yeah. and then you and that person. Yeah. Because now y'all can have some understanding. Yeah. And then now y'all connect. Yeah, on even a deeper level, because yeah. you're able to have the hard conversation. But do you think the, do so? I don't think the term crashing out would justify that. You know what I'm saying? They got to be a better word for because for me, love her enough to, to crash, crash out for. Tough to say that. I that. I <laughs> Anybody you love, you will crash out for. I don't believe that, bro. I you if you love some if you love somebody and you have time in. You will time, crash. Put the time in. You see, right, you see, so husbands gotta, kill random but what if that's, niggas for but, but taking what if that's their not how you stuff? handle your issues? Though? Yeah, exactly. What, what if you have way well, better conflict resolution, bro? Yeah. Nigga, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes emotions, tr- emotions trumps fucking your thoughts, bro. But that's and not that's a full crash out. That's, that's, that's a crash. That's really crash that's, out. That's, that's, that's what crashing out means. That's what I think I'm really good at. What thinking, not using emotions, sometimes. Sometimes over over logic. Yeah, I I, I I try to be logic over emotions, mm-hmm. and I, my emotions be heavy as fuck. So mm-hmm. it takes a lot of logic and real. to whatever that means. <laughs> 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 but whatever, 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 because uh, I feel my feelings, mm-hmm. and sometimes I feel them too much. Mm-hmm. But the conscious effort of don't do nothing stupid in the sake of how you feel. Don, you've, you've seen it, bro. You know, you, know, you call me. Nigga. Just, yeah, yo, during a gig, nigga, LA, bro, we on the phone for like 40 minutes. I'm out the wild. I said, what's the point? Yeah, so it's, 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 it's like, yo, bro, like, it takes a lot of strength to, to contain myself from doing something that and 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 y'all know I kind of I'm kind of numbers guy in probability. What's the probability of this going my way? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, what, me, is this, what is this going to result? Me crashing out does what? Me driving to DC does what? Sometimes it, <laughs> like what? What sometimes does that it just do? Feels it feels better. Good. You, you feel, feel better. Good, you see bro. how you see how Angela Bassett burnt that fucking car? No, she felt good after that. Yo, you know what's funny? Uh. I was just watching uh, this clip of uh, they, they was trying to say how Lisa uh, Left Eye was like underrated as a rapper. Mm-hmm. And one of the songs she was like, She's a little Oh, you're talking about the bar that she, the, yeah, the fire bar. Yeah. And I didn't even catch that. I was like, That was tough. On Ladies Night. On Ladies Night, she talked about uh, the fire burning, keep it rising to the top and it and don't she, stop. Like, and she flipped, <laughs> she flipped <laughs> rising and arson. Arson, yeah. Yeah, the way she enunciated rising, it sounded like arson. She did do that. Yeah. Fire yeah, shit. yeah right. so that was like, That was like, but she's a perfect crash out. <laughs> OD. <laughs> a, a good crash Rest out. Recipes left out too. And she got, <laughs> and she got her man back. Yeah. Sometimes crash out. Sometimes you got to crash out and, to get the fire results shot. Want. Like, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. We're, not, we're not trying to tell you how to crash out now. <laughs> yeah. Remember but, that. For but, love, crash out. Nah, I just... Nah. I want you oh, to know so, I want you I mean, how much I love you. I want if, you to know if everybody's just replaceable, then we just keep but on see, replacing nah, people. That's not, oh, that, who is this nigga? But the, I, <laughs> yo, I'm about to this, this, this is going this? straight <laughs> in the group chat. Who the fuck is this nigga? On camera, this, <laughs> this is going... <laughs> you know he got that text message, don't embarrass me. I got way, a good pep talk. <laughs> <laughs> the way he's performing right now. Ball on top. Ball on top. Nah, because it's like, yo, like, I just think, for me, I always, the one thing that I, I, I kind of, I'm in the moment to realize how much this is going to alter your life. That's probably one of the biggest conscious efforts I always do. Mm-hmm. Always think about, and they maybe this may be the pessimistic side of me, mm-hmm. if I do this mm-hmm. and I fuck my life up. Was it worth it? Is this gonna be worth now, it? No, I ain't saying crime crash. <laughs> <laughs> crime crash out is crazy. That but, is, somebody but, be in front of your crib with a little love, boombox. Some t- if you gotta drive that's, down that, to DC that, so she knows, yo, don't be playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do I'm it. I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm in front of the Capitol with it. Stop playing with me, <laughs> bro. I, I crashed out you with my that? ex so bad. I made her call a nigga she was cheating on me with in the park. And made her leave that nigga voice. <laughs> tell her, tell her it's over. Not because I loved her. Like, damn, I love you. <laughs> you <laughs> do whatever the fuck you got to do. <laughs> and be like, we in Starry City going crazy, bro. Niggas, 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 niggas
I'm watching her come home from like parties. I'm she like she's in Star City. There's a garage that overlooks her shit. I'm standing at the garage watching her go into her building oh, like nah, Batman. This nigga is <laughs> sick. Like, nigga. Oh, this nigga's a serial killer. Yo. <laughs> what? James St. Patrick. Out oh, the ones that I and love. saying I'm a nut. This nigga's a nut. <laughs> James St. Patrick over there, bro. Nigga, I'm looking 12. It was like one in the morning. I'm sitting in the stairs. I wish y'all the visual it's like crazy. I'm thinking about it right that now. night is the exact <laughs> visual that it was because she can't like you're literally overlooking her walking into love. Yeah, see what's going on there. Yeah, man, crash out for the ones that you love. And we had a nice three years after, after that. that, and then we broke up. Finally. All right, so with the breakup, right? Was it worth the it? crash? Thank you, dog. <laughs> I got to get Very <laughs> much worth it. Very I mean, yeah, if you spent three years with us, yeah, yeah. It's no, no we spent three years then, after, and then that happened, and then we did it. What? Wait, so six? Wait, so I just, I just want to understand. To I've always saying. been in long term relationships. You crashed out over a person who cheated on you? Yeah, because yeah. he loved her. I love. He them, made bro. it clear, yo, I love this girl, and it's to him it was worth crashing out for. That's why I have good insurance. And, and then you, because <laughs> <but look, laughs> there's you, certain crashes I'm not getting into. Yeah, you <laughs> asked, that's you, why my rates is low. <laughs> you asked him if it was worth it, after, and he said, "I spent another three years with this woman." Also, it may not be it may not be a relationship that he's in now, but he can say it at that time. At and when that time, we see each other, is you know it's love because you know I really. That's why I don't have bad relationships with my exes. Maybe one from super young, but we we'll get through that one. <laughs> <laughs> but like all my other ones, yeah, you know you 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 know that I loved you. I'll crash I'll crash out for you. You know that I loved you. There's no. Some East New York chicks, bro. That's some East New York love, Star bro. City girls, they'll get you. Scor- <laughs> Light skinned girls, Scorpios, yeah, they you. They're giving a lot of details, bro. Hey, hey for you, you're wild. People know who I've dated. Niggas. Man. I think that 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 helps some a lot of my crash outs too. Like they be like, damn, LA going through it, but you don't know who caused it. Yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna even as his friend, sometimes I don't know who he's stressing over. Like when he was stre- when he was stressing over. Yeah, I didn't know who so, it was. So sometimes that's 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 kind <laughs> of the you gotta pull up the rose bar. <laughs> DC, <laughs> nigga said we going to DC. This nigga's a sick guy. Nice. Yo, Joe, you trying to take this ride? Right bro? at that line at 11 a.m. for brunch. Yo, why you never <laughs> call me to go to DC, now? Nah, Lisa? <laughs> I haven't been there myself. Matter of fact, you know what's funny? I got a trip there next week. But I like Chocolate City, though, man. Yeah. So, yeah, that that's that's kind of uh, the gist of this episode, you know, the conscious effort of. You know, reflection and accountability, you know, the ripple effects of uh, even if you're going through some shit in life, mm-hmm. like still be kind to others. And hopefully the ripple effect of that, that's kind of what I lost. I think I lost sight of like, I gave up on the faith of humanity. I think humanity is fucked. I don't think. Yeah, um, now I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of humans, but no humanity, though. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think niggas, uh, niggas, will, niggas will record you fucking passing out before they fucking help you. Like it's fucking so, weird. Social currency. So for me, it's like the conscious effort of you know, just even if my life ain't the way it's going, or every day is something new, you know that that shouldn't change what I give out mm-hmm. in life. Because of the way it's going for me. That could change your whole day, bro. If you're going through something. And you might get it back yeah. tenfold. You know? So just random person random. to hug you. Oh, what's going on? How you doing? Nah, don't touch me. But uh <laughs> <laughs> But nah, I, I, I do agree with that. So it was kind of like, damn, like I know how I come into work. Mm. That may not how be other people come mm. into work. Niggas so I been. should just project that mm-hmm. onto, you know. So that that's what maybe I woke up one morning and was like, yo, I'm gonna make also, this people also people love being in sometimes people love being in that something is wrong. As everything is always bad. Sometimes oh. everything don't be bad. Mm-hmm. You just not where you're at. That don't mean where you're at is bad. Mm-hmm. Yo, how you how you deal with um justify be so their life is going to shit. Like it's they they're they're in a bad patch, mm-hmm. um, like, right? And words of encouragement may not necessarily help. It's going to fall on dead ears. Mm-hmm. But they're constantly telling you how bad their life is. 
I feel bad when I have moments where it's like, yo, shut the fuck up. And 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 I don't I don't mean it in the sense of like you're, you're, the I way don't you're feeling fit, is not valid. Yeah, mm-hmm. it just means like bros. Yo, we I all right, we fully established that life is shitty for you. Stop talking about it. Like, let's <laughs> make the conscious effort of I won't complain. Uh, I won't complain. Yes. When you when you first told me I say, yo, bro, he's right. Like, what the fuck is my me complaining is gonna do? I forgot. I, I don't wanna be mean. Complain. Is it a man or a woman? It, it, right, you are get you are thinking the plot. It, it, it's it, a woman. A it's woman. women. Women have women have that. Women and babies have that option of. All right, but you're a man receiving it. Receiving it from them. Yeah, and they're talking about their life. Yeah, I mean, if she's a receptive person to solutions, because men are always about solutions. So, mm-hmm. you come with a problem, I'm gonna try to. If they don't want the solution, then I'm gonna stop listening. Mm. But as a but man, then you be a meanie. Yeah, I'm not going now, now you're, you're not listening. So that that's a problem. Yeah, you're not listening to my problems, Matthew. Well, the world doesn't operate around your feelings. The world operates. Oh, now, yeah, now, now, now this you is the group chat. No <laughs> this is the group <laughs> chat. Right, you, talking. Now you about to give me back. Hey, God. <laughs> nah, for the body hey, <laughs> as, as as a man, though, <clears throat> you complaining when you when there are other men who can not necessarily help you, but point you in the right direction. Like I don't like when my friends come and ask me for twenty dollars. Don't ask me for twenty dollars. Ask, <laughs> ask me for two hundred, three hundred dollars. I, I just want a sandwich. I get paid tomorrow. Nigga. Twenty dollars. <laughs> then go do Instacart and make fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. Like there are ways. Mm-hmm. You're just not applying yourself mm-hmm. to figure it out. So that's what. Unless you in the shelter. Yeah, I if you I in the shelter, twenty dollars. I say, yo, I'm only asking because I need this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> not it. But I owed you that. I yeah, owed you that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you just, yo, bro. I'm, nigga said, I'm, go, go do. I'm the down car. on my luck. I need twenty dollars. Why, nigga? There's so many ways to make twenty dollars right now that I need my twenty dollars. <laughs> like, go beat off. You can jerk off in a cup and donate sperm and make fifteen hundred dollars. Apply yourself, my nigga. Apply <laughs> yourself. Industrious. Say something at three k. Come on. Ah. <laughs> That's another thing that I I I I, 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 a, I, I, I could I never do. I that's one thing I told myself I'd never do though. Oh what? Nah, just do that. And fucking get paid for my sponsor. Nah, you ain't been broken up, bro. Uh, nigga. I'll, I'll give, give thanks. Give thanks. <laughs> right, then you better go donate some plasma or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, do some, but it's so many ways. That's as a man. Yeah. Like how we sit here, yo, we put one foot in front of some men don't do that unless they're pushed. Yeah. Do it. And it's like, yeah. bro, you're a man. Nobody yo, can push what, you uh, to do it. Yo, what um uh, what your aunt used to say about uh if you carry a man for too long, you cripple him? She always had a quote. You know the quote I'm talking about, right? It's probably on her Facebook. Uh, <laughs> that's I wish I could. I wish I could. Yeah, but she she used to she used to say, like, you better let that man hand go. Because you carry him too long, he won't ever learn how to walk and you're going to end up crippling him. Mm. The only hands you can hold are babies and women. Other than that, you're a man. Now, as men, we owe it to each other mm. to help and give the knowledge and information. Yeah. So if I know know something, like I was telling Kojo, Kojo doing graphics, yo, niggas is coming up off of Instagram just putting out pre-designed yeah. clothing. Yeah. My brother, you missing out on the... Yeah. And you do and you fire. You yeah. missing out on the revenue. You should do that. If yeah. he don't do it, that's it. Yeah. But the information's still shared. Yeah. Yeah. That's just, true. Yeah. He does share this information. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. I, I think that's also a good thing, the conscious effort of sharing shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we are getting out of the phase of a life and mentality where people gatekeep information and the I mean, I guess there's still some crab in the barrel mentality here and there, like brand wars. Yeah, but at the same time, the information is there. It's not as secretive, mm-hmm. or it's not uh, in the depths of a book mm-hmm. where people, you know, they say you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. So and read, niggas need to read. Yeah, <laughs> start reading, niggas. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can read a bunch. You can read tweets for eight hours. Read a fucking book, bro. <laughs> Like it's not that crazy. <laughs> wow. But you're right though. You're right though. You are right though. App- applying yourself as a man goes a long way. Yeah. And that and that was the biggest thing overall, where it's like 
I'm making a conscious effort to apply myself as a man. Mm -hmm. Because the man that I envision myself to be, mm -hmm. I have this vision for a reason. Mm -hmm. I see myself in this space for a reason. Like, this isn't on some, like, uh, I see another man like this, so mm -hmm. I want to be this. No, I see, I envision myself in this, in a life where the things that I stress about now, I no longer have to stress about. So mm -hmm. I know it's possible. I just have to apply myself. And the biggest thing that's going to get me there is like discipline, like for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I know I talk about this often, but it was like, yo, like, all right, you got your spot now. Don't use this op. You wasn't a hoe back then. Don't be a hoe now. You say you fuck your bread up, nigga. Don't fuck around. You fuck are up. bugging. <laughs> <laughs> you are bugging. Well, nah, I don't but, understand why you think because you're getting older, you too old for hoes now. Nah, no. So that, that, that's here's the thing, right? Uh, yeah. You don't. don't fuck, let you me just. Right. Say, I don't. Fuck I've been doing good. I've been doing good. He might fuck around and fuck up. Let me fuck around and fuck up. I don't want to make rookie mistakes in my tenth season. What would okay? So what would a rookie mistake be? Uh, knocking up a woman I don't care about. You're, 30, you're, you're in your thirties, having a kid ain't that crazy, bro. Yeah, but you don't care who, about who? Oh, the woman well, yeah, you don't care yeah, about. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah you know nigga, what I'm saying? You like, put yourself in a pickle. You still gotta have discernment about good women. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, but you know what was a part of some of that discernment for me, at least personally, is I I'm bringing somebody in my mother's home. Mm -hmm. This person got to be my mother. My mother is not one of those mothers where... She turned her back and like, oh, go ahead. Yeah. It's, who is this? <laughs> this is not even your type. What you doing? <laughs> like, what? Sean, who is Sean, walking Sean, what are we doing? That's what she, she's going to call a timeout. <laughs> he said, come here. Like, you remember that, that Patrick, you were talking about? Have you practiced this move? <laughs> I never seen you do that. Where you work on that show? <laughs> this. Let's show what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, I right, bet, take that same mm. guess nobody's here to chaperone you or do whatever, but don't just bring no twiddly diddly. <laughs> Niggas are freestyling. Yeah. Let's show it, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just one of the little front. It's crazy. Yeah, so nah, even that, it's like, yo, I, you just don't want to make childish mistakes in mm. your grown years. Mm. So, well, I mean... And I know that we would, you guys say, oh, at 40, I'm going to do this. But who does, you, who say you, that? You, you definitely, never see that in the chat. You definitely jack. don't want the woman that made it to 40 with no kids Why and not? no marriage. Why not? Because she was a hoe. <laughs> she was What's wrong with your experience? <laughs> she was... What's wrong with experience? <laughs> Shout out to the free to win. Like, what? <laughs> What's wrong with experience? You see, you see Chris Paul got the starting job for the Spurs, right? 20 years uh, in. He ain't give it to that rookie. Listen. You know, he ain't got nothing to show. No that, ring. That means she ain't got that five. <laughs> no, that's not true. Nah, she made it to 40, no marriage, no kids. That nigga ain't leave you with a souvenir, nothing. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said you ain't 40, you went through nigga 40 said, years of life. We were doing so well. well back. Back. We were doing so well. Nigga said you didn't get a medal. I'm going to go. Let me be Matthew. I'm going to be Matthew. <laughs> we were doing so well. Nigga. I'm just saying. This nigga preach no souvenir is crazy. 40 years. 40 years. Niggas are not years. 40 40 years of life. Niggas and no MVP. man thought you was good enough to have a kid or propose to you? I don't know that's if this crazy. go bigger than the pod, bro. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta get up out of here. Yo. That's crazy. Yeah, dog, get us out of here. Yo, you ain't know this, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's your mother's here running as always. Don Peasley, also known as Don the Camera Guy, also known as... Yeah, something else. Alongside a little short, um, shit. At I, I, I hope by forty, I at least get on my knee once, so no woman can feel like you know what I'm saying. That has, <laughs> no, but you know, women. Y'all like, see tough. how women? Oh, you got to thirty, no kids. What's wrong with you? You, that's a thing. I never heard like, that. Actually, that's a that's really a thing. Like, so what's wrong with you? If Nothing. you made it to four, so no if she woman, wait, 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 you got a little dick. Like, what's what's? It is a little dick. Get a bit. <laughs> 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 I mean, you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't do this part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if not, if that's her, if that's her mindset, yeah, it's yeah. definitely. Y'all got definitely got the shrimp. shrimp. I'm good. Shrimp. I'm good. Uh, God, son. Shrimp cocktail. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! What's a good guy every Monday? Yo, every man. Monday at eight a.m. Yo, bro, if you really, if you really, what's a good guy? Um, you know, supporter, you know what time to come out. <laughs> every Monday at eight a.m. or what's a good guy .com. Uh, you can watch us on YouTube, 
and yeah, you definitely <laughs> you definitely can hear this on the DSP. If it made it through this, if you made it through this part and you come back next week, we really love you. We fuck with yeah, you. He's talking about the women listeners. He ain't talking about nobody. Else. <laughs> God damn. I am LaShawn and I do not uh, stand by the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the words of the, 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 the words of the words. Listen. This is why he only hit once it's, a year. It's not, it's not, it's not, <laughs> You can't you can't breed on the naivety in the women, bro. By yo, God, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, Joe on the show got Joe man, is man, is man, Cancel us out. Get us out of here. Yeah, yeah, cancel, I, cancel, cancel you. Yo, till next time. God is good, baby. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>